welcome to this episode of HealthWise 360, a creation of Clarissa Burt, founder of In the Limelight Media. I am your show host, Chrissy Cordingly, and you'll be able to see this interview on In the Limelight TV, which is distributed on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and a hundred other smart TV apps. The audio version of this interview can be heard wherever you listen to your podcasts. And today I'm really thrilled to be interviewing Dr. Vicky, Vicky Matthews, who is a naturopathic physician and relationship coach. She's been a guest on Oprah's show, not just once, but twice, a relationship expert for ex-sexpert. Oh my, that's a little Freudian slip. <laughs> expert uh, for Fox Business and has been featured in radio, podcasts, and print. She's also the author of the award-winning new book, The Five Elements of Relationships, How to Get Along with Anyone, Anytime, Anyplace. The material in her book has helped thousands of people improve their relationships by helping them better understand themselves and the people in their lives. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Vicki. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you. I'm really excited to get right into it. So obviously relationships are your thing. So why do relationships matter so much to people in our health, our happiness, et cetera? Because we're wired to connect. Mm -hmm. Human beings are not wired to be solitary beings. We are wired to be in community, in connection. We support each other that way at an energetic level, at a physical, emotional, mental level. So if we're wired for that, why not have those connections be really good? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm a health coach and I teach about non-food nourishment, which I was sort of mentioning before we started recording. And relationships is a piece of actual human wellness. If we feel isolated and alone, our actual physical health can suffer as well. Correct? Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. So what does it take to have good relationships? I believe it takes understanding each other. Mm -hmm. we, understanding ourselves first and foremost, of course, but also understanding the people in our life and that they may be wired similar to us and they may, may be wired quite differently. And if we can understand where they're coming from, then a lot of what they do that may drive us crazy suddenly makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when, when I think about that, I think about when I worked with a, you can have different styles of communication, right? Some people are external and internal, meaning you can think about something and then you display, you finally communicate out loud your finished thought where other people do the thinking out loud. Yes. So they need yes. to speak it out loud. And I remember working with somebody that just kept calling to just, it sounded to me just like gobbledygook, just like talking mm -hmm. things through. And once we did this training on communication styles, I was like, oh, he needs yeah. to do that that's how he's figuring out his thoughts. I speak right. to myself, he speaks out loud to others. And then that creates the knowledge and understanding. So that absolutely. Yeah, perfect. And you talk about the, the, um, there's five elements, right? Or five elemental right. relationship styles. Would you like to expand on those? Sure. It's based on the five element model from traditional Chinese medicine. And they developed that model millennia ago based on their observation of nature. So it's really about cycles, about the beginning, middles and ends of cycles. And they used it again with nature. And so they used to be the, the prototypes, if you will, of each of these different elements, they used things they saw in nature. So it's water, wood, fire, earth, and metal are the five elements they identify. And the really cool thing is because these are seasonal, their winter is a watery time. It's very inner directed yin energy, etc. And you can go around and each of them represents a particular season, which I'm happy to describe if you want. Mm -hmm. But even better in this model, it talks about how each of these elements, quote unquote, get along with each other. And that's where it's really helpful in my system. For example, water feeds wood in nature. And that's mm. so a water relate a person that's got a watery personality in a relationship to a wood person that would feel very nurturing. But water puts out fire. So water in a relationship to a fiery person <laughs> might not feel quite so good. And so the, the, the model that I use helps us understand ourselves, the people in our life, and most importantly, what our relationship tendencies will be, strengths and challenge areas. 
Yeah, it seems to paint very clear visuals that would be very yes. easy to grasp and sort of understand, right? Like, oh, I'm yes. dosing you out right now. Maybe I should communicate yeah. a little bit differently, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It also helps us understand what the people in our life need, yeah. what they like to do, what they won't like to do. I had a, a, an interesting example from my practice where I had a, a very... Uh, athletically oriented guy come in and and you know it's like well what what do you want to address he said i want to address the fact that i'm raising a wimpy kid it's like what <laughs> like, yeah, my my son he won't play football he doesn't want to play football i mean what's wrong with my son and so the dad was a very wood personality out there make it happen go for it type of person and clearly his son was not and it turned out his son was more of a water personality, which is very creative. Imagination sits in water. He was had lots of ideas, and all he wanted was a camera. He didn't want a football. So once this dad understood that his kid was wired differently and what mattered to his kid, he bought the he bought his son a camera. He bought himself a camera. They did photo shoots together, and that kid's a professional photographer now amazing so that understanding what drives the person what's core what what they need what they don't need and that they're not a mini you that they're not you know they don't see the world that you do possibly so it that that level of understanding and light bulbs go on mm -hmm. absolutely i remember once in a uh, we were doing it was with a a corporate position that I had we were doing sort of personality typing which would be somewhat similar and yes. we were talking about how people like to receive feedback critical feedback and so you know I was saying that so, you know I prefer the prey sandwich right like because mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more delicate so <laughs> tell me something you like about me before you kick me exactly. in the stomach right and it helps lessen the blow and someone said, oh, I think we all feel that way. And then someone said, oh, no, 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 just give it to me straight. And that right. was a light bulb for a lot of people that, no, not everybody wants to hear the message the exact same way. And yes. they may not take it seriously if they need it to like straight to the point. So they may, and think... they may not take the message in either. Yes. If it's too painful, they simply will block it. Yeah. And it'll, like, it'll be like it never happened. So they never got the message at all. Mm -mm. So that's, that's why for me, these five different personality styles, it, it makes everything about relationships easier. Mm -hmm. Now you also have a bit of a personal story, right? Where this work has <laughs> impacted your life. Are you willing to share that with us? I am willing to share that with my husband's permission. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you, hubby. We so you. We, my husband and I met in college and we got married, moved and graduated on the same weekend. And <laughs> yes, it was, well, it was like, it, all our friends are graduating and leaving school. If you want them there at your wedding, you're going to have to, to to be that have it at a graduation and if you want to live together after you get married you're going to have to move into an apartment mm -hmm. together so it was just one of those okay yeah roll up your sleeves we'll make it happen <laughs> so two weeks later my best friend got married and i was in school in chicago and but i'm from la originally so my husband and i my new husband and i were driving out to la because that was all we could afford to do mm -hmm. and um we hit the mojave desert and i don't know if you've been in the mojave desert but it is nothing but sand and rocks, nothing, Zippo happening. And my husband of two weeks drove the speed limit in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him and I said, can we speed this up? And he looked at me like I had four heads and he's like, we're going the speed limit. And it was just, oh my God, I don't think I like the man I love. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> whoa what is going on here so i had to really you know i shut up fortunately and just pondered it and i was in the process of getting my naturopath degree so we study the chinese models a lot of chinese medicine acupuncture based on these five elements and the meridians and everything mm -hmm. and over the course of a couple of years i realized that our personalities can sit in these elements as well and I realized then that my husband was a metal personality. Metal people sit at the end of the cycle. You know, it's a five element cycle that goes around and the last one is metal. So they can look back at the cycle and say, oh, this worked, this didn't work. They're, they're incredible at analyzing things. And they also figure if this is what worked, let's make a rule that we will do things <laughs> this way. <laughs> so they are very rule and law oriented. And so uh, that was a huge light bulb for me it was like okay he's not anal retentive he likes following rules mm 
Mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, am wired to be a wood personality, which is go for it, make it happen, you know, ban don't worry about bands. I mean, just go for it. And that's very different than how he's wired. So I'm looking at the future, how we can do this better, let's make this happen. And he's looking at the past and saying, no, 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 we tried that in the past and it didn't work. The other thing in nature, metal chops wood. So it may not, there are times it doesn't feel really good, but we have, you know, we've been married a long time now and we've really know where our touchy points are. I can look at him and say, you're being way too metal for me right now. <laughs> or he can, he can look at me and say, like, let's pull back on some of that wood. Okay. I mean, another good example is several years into our marriage, we, um, lived in a condo and we owned a condo and I decided that the wall between the living room and the dining room needed to come out. So I like two days after Christmas, I'm like, let's walk this, knock this wall out. And he's like, okay, wait, the Christmas tree is up. There's going to be plaster dust everywhere. If you're the one that's going to have to dust all those ornaments, do you really want to do this now? And it's like, yeah, right. Maybe you've got a good point there. So it's, he understood me enough to say, I get what you want to do, but perhaps this may not be the best time. And I understood that he was coming from a good enough place that I didn't get too pissy with him. Yeah. You weren't like, yeah. but why can't you dust the ornaments? Right? Exactly. No, <laughs> I, I saw the wisdom in his, in what he was offering as an alternative. So, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Those are wonderful stories. And I mean, so many relationships. I mean, I think you talk a little bit about this on your website about the rate of divorce and and miscommunication oh and unhappiness. Oh and I think gosh. a lot of it is really honestly built on misunderstandings or not intentionally working. I agree. Towards I agree. your we partner, have, we have forty million lawsuits a year yeah. in this country. Jeez. We have the third highest divorce rate in the world behind two little countries, Belarus and the Maldives. I mean, we clearly do not know how to get along. And <laughs> I mean, that's, I'm being the patron saint of the obvious there. Yeah. We clearly do not know how to get along. <laughs> but I believe if we understood each other better, we could. And that's what I think is, is cool about my simple little model is it doesn't take a PhD to understand it. And you can recognize yourself and people in it and learn what do they love? I mean, water is going to, water doesn't like to be caged in. So it's going to love free time, moving, deep discussions, philosophy, whereas a fire person, which loves people and partying and getting out there and shining, they're going to find that boring as hell. So you mm. just have to understand, especially in marriages, you have to understand the, what each person needs and likes and compromise. I mean, that's what most relationships involve is some degree of compromise. It's easy to compromise when you understand. Absolutely. And, and then the point is, it's not to demonize one element over the other mm -hmm. either, right? These are just no. the way we're made. And we have to learn how to appreciate the complementary sides to these things. There's positives and negatives to each element, to each person. We are human, right? We're yes. not perfect. Yes. So it's not about, oh, not fire. I will never date a fire. That's not what this is about. No. It's about understanding no. what people need. So how do we get to a place of of doing that, of connecting well, with I our partner or connecting with our friends or coworkers that we see what they need? I think the first piece is to understand that we all actually have all five of them in our oh. energetic wiring. Yeah. That that we can, for example, I'm I'm not a fire person by any stretch of anybody's imagination <laughs> because basically fire burns wood. So it's it's you know not my my sense of keeping it together isn't going to like a lot of fire. <clears throat> but when you're doing interviews, when you're uh, coaching people, things like that, you need to be a little bit more upbeat. Yeah. So I can draw on the fire in me because I have it. We have all five and be a little bit more outgoing or a little bit more engaging than my normal MO might be. So I think if we are face to face with someone that we're going, whoa, what is that? We can we can see what it's upsetting in us and we can actually try and meet them. Mm -hmm. For example, I have a really good friend who has a ton of fire energy. And I really enjoy being around her for short periods of time. <laughs> <clears throat> but one time, and I think I may have even mentioned this in my book, one time I was like, okay, we'll go to this really sweet little tea house and we'll just have a wonderful, quiet, cozy chat. Oh my God, she was like the proverbial bull in the china closet, uh, china shop. She was just miserable. It's like, okay, Vicky, that was stupid. Pick a loud bar, pick some place that would, that will 
feed her <laughs> and you know and I can handle that so it it really can comes down to we're all different even even three fires are going to be different because there's so much else that goes on in a personality than just our ele- elemental personality mm-hmm. but understanding it and helping make someone comfortable or helping someone understand someone else or understand your reaction I mean that was the big light bulb with my husband wow I have to understand these things are going to be priorities to him and that needs to be okay with me if we're going to be in a happy marriage. So it's it's really, it's not hard. And once you understand that people, other people's priorities, their behavior starts making a lot of sense. Yeah. Just because you haven't mentioned it yet, what is the air personality like? It's not air, it's water. Let me oh, go through water. five. May yeah, I, may sorry, I do that? Yeah, okay. So water is winter. It's inner directed, a lot of yin, think yin time. Water people like philosophy. They are incredible artists. Imagination. We all have all five. When we are in an imaginative place, we are using our water. Imagination sits in water. So that uh authors, there are a lot of authors use a lot of water creativity energy. So then the next one, and that's, I said, water is is winter. The next one is wood, that's spring. That's that go out there, make it happen. We can do this. The buds burst through the bark and the leaves come out, you know, that kind of manifestation energy or woods. I always say, if you want something done, give it to a wood. (laughs) They will get it done. So that's spring. The next one is fire. That's summer. That's everything's out there, the birds and the bees and the flowers and the water, and we're all playing and having fun. And that's what fire's like, is they like to have fun. They love, they're really good um, partiers in terms of making other people feel welcome. They can do instant connections in just like magic. I look at it and go, oh my God. <laughs> and they're like, wow. Oh, hi, I'm Vicky. Nice to meet you. Let's you know, just there that, <laughs> that instant connection those matter so much to fire people so the next around is earth and i'm going to skip that for a minute we're going to go to metal metal is fall that's when things are shutting down quieting we're getting to turn inward um animals are starting to nest underground and that type of thing and the wonderful gift of the metal element is the ability to look back on the whole cycle and mm-hmm. say what have we learned What do we want to keep going forward into the next cycle that will get passed on to the creative imagination of the water? And what do we want to let go of? So letting go sits in metal. It's it's really like we're going to keep the zucchini, but let go of the zucchini vine, Mm. that kind of discernment. So metal people are really, really good at discerning what didn't didn't work, what um, the lessons are. And sometimes they don't feel appreciated enough because they know how wise they are. (laughs) They want other people to appreciate their wisdom. So now we're gonna go back to earth. Earth people are all about home, family, caring, food, nurturing, and they represent the solstice and the equinox times where balance is important. Earths are the balancers. They're the ones that can come in and say, oh, you look like you need this, let me help. They can help bring things to balance. So that that energy, I mean, almost any doctor or nurse or teacher, people that love helping other people have a lot of earth energy or are able to bring and draw on their earth energy, even if they don't lead with that all the time. Mm-hmm. So earth is about balance. And anytime you're dealing with an earth, earth person, they usually make you feel comfortable and welcome and at home. Oh, that's lovely. They all sound lovely, actually. They all have they all, They're energy. all important. That's what's beautiful is they're all, no one's better than the other. They're all important. And really the good news is we have all five of them in our energetic makeup. It's just that without thinking about it, we're going to lead with one Mm -hmm. that is our primary. It's kind of like if you're looking out a window and you put tints on the window, the tint closest to you is the one that you see mostly. Yes. That kind of way we approach the world. And that's what I really hope to do with my book, other than share a lot of my patient stories with their permission, of course, yes. and with a lot of details changed so no one would ever recognize them, and a lot of my personal stories. But it's it's helping you see how it all works together and how everything is important and everything is valuable and not writing somebody off as a nerd just because they're a metal that likes analyzing things or, you know, a water being a recluse because they need time alone more than others. It's just the understanding. And I think that makes a huge difference in any relationship. Yeah. It's not about labeling. It's about respect, right? It's about, I see you. I see see you. you. Yes. Yes. And, and I value you. Mm -hmm. I know what you bring. 
And the more that we understand, especially in our parenting, what our children, what our friends, what our parents even value or the lens, if you will, that they're looking at the world through, the easier it is to get along. And that, mm -hmm. you know, is what I think we all need more of in this country and our world is getting along. Yeah, definitely. And I know with parenting, like even myself with my children, they're, they're both very individuals, very different mm -hmm. than myself, very different than their father. And I think sometimes we we think when we're going to have a baby, they're going to be little miniature us's. And no, we have to learn who they are too and help guide them into discovering what they yes. are as well. Yes. And I, you know, the father with the football thing was a good example. I, I had a mother who was an earth energy, total earth energy, loved her, her children, her home, loved to cook. And was so excited for her daughter to get old enough to help her cook in the kitchen. The daughter was a fire. She could have cared less about <laughs> cooking. She wanted to be out with her friends. She wanted to be doing this. I mean, the mom originally, one of her first, the, like when the kid was about six birthday parties was just like, you know, a few close friends and we'll have cookies and cake and da, da, da. And the more she got to understand her daughter, it's like, she wants a big party. You know, she wants fun and activity. She doesn't want quiet tea. So anyway, it's, it can make a huge difference in the parenting if you understand the person's personality. Mm -hmm. And there, in the book, there's a quiz. I have a quiz on my website too. I that, was just going to ask, how can people learn more about this and figure well, out? Well, they can read my book. Certainly that mm -hmm. would be lovely. In the book is a quiz and a very, very detailed explanations of all the different uh, LML personalities and how they react and interact and ways to balance them. Uh, what we what we wear, what we eat, what we what we drink all help either improve our elemental personality balance or maybe take it off the rails a little bit. Also on my website, drvickymatthews.com, there is a quiz. They can take the quiz and sure. it'll help them because we all have all five. It'll just show what's your dominant, secondary, third, fourth, and fifth. And that, that's a big eye opener. That's a big, oh, all of a sudden these things make sense, which is what we want to get along. Absolutely. And I think there's a beauty of course, in relationships with other people, we do need to be connected, but we do have a relationship with ourselves too. Sometimes people yeah. don't really know themselves or have a relationship with themselves first. At the very least, they don't understand themselves. Yeah. They yeah. don't all of a sudden. So my, for me, understanding and appreciating that I'm a wood energy, I'm not that bossy. I mean, I may be bossy, but <laughs> I'm wired to be bossy. <laughs> I'm wired to say, let's make this happen. And, and here's how I think we can, because I look at the future. Mm -hmm. So my husband looks at the past, I look at the future. And if we appreciate that about each other, we've got it covered. But if he's expecting me to always look back and learn, it isn't going to happen. And if I'm expecting him to be a good planner, that isn't going to happen either. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a combo deal when you're married. So but raising children, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And it's, I think it's setting realistic expectations for your partner too, yes. which is very healthy in relationships, right? Like it is, it is. It's also important in business. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've worked with a lot of business people saying, if you want this kind of response from an employee or this job requires this, don't hire that kind of a person. I mean, if you are a salesperson, don't hire a water. <laughs> they may be very philosophic. They may impress you with their intelligence. They're not going to be good at going and meeting and greeting. So it's it, it really helps in business as well to understand the people that you're working with or that you want to surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. And before we wrap up, we're going to make sure that the link to your book, it's available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Uh, yes. Your website link will be yes. in the show notes. Everything will be available for right. all the listeners so that they can connect with you. But is there any last thoughts or ideas you might like well, to share? I have a you? gift for your, for your. Oh, audience. yes. Tell us yes. how they can That'd access that. Uh, it's a it's a little booklet that sort of summarizes all of this and they can go to getalongnow.com just like I think here yes I have getalongnow.com <laughs> that was from my metal husband made that thank I you I love it <laughs> and there's every time you say metal I'm like metal like <laughs> 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 and and anyway at getalongnow.com they can download this free booklet that sort of summarizes what we've talked about today Perfect. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Vicki. It's been a Thank real you. pleasure speaking with you. I think that the work you're doing is very important. And Thank I you. really hope a lot of people check it out and discover themselves and discover, you know, great ways to make their relationships really meaningful. Every relationship can work if we just take the time to understand each other. Absolutely. I agree. Thank you again. Thank you. It was great to be here.